Yeah, so we were driving along the road here, and as I said, the dash cam is out. Obviously along the road here, found this crazy sculptural garden here. Try to not walk in a bunch of mud. Fortunately, it's not raining too bad. It's just kind of drizzly. Let me turn it around and show you. It's a chair, it's a bear chair. I mean, that's just crazy, that detail all throughout the whole body of that. Very interesting stuff. Here's a little gnome. They're all like crazy creatures for the most part. Fantasy stuff. The devil and the fiddle. I wonder where he got that idea. like an ant. Detail. Don Quixote maybe, huh? The windmill? It's gotta be. Then he has a swing here. I saw the fish. There's another fish sculpture. They are beautifully done. Very nicely done. See ya. Must be the artist. Seahorse unicorn, I guess. That's like the first bolt I've seen any of them. Down there holding the uh, horn on. We have no name for this place other than, I think he says, no shipping. That's about the only sign that's on anything here to identify what it is. All right, well, we're gonna get back in because it is drizzly and uh, you saw it all. So I hope you enjoyed that. We actually had some content for this video for the last couple days. Woo. All right, well, we're going into Bandon's Old Town. I did what? Nice buildings here on the side. This Coast Guard here. Yeah, well, I'm kind of, I was just going to say it looks very military. Yeah, I don't know. This building here, these murals are kind of in sepia, almost like photographs. And there you can see over there this fish sculpture y thing. Uh, There's the crab Tony's shack. Crab Shack. We're going to be checking out Tony's Crab Shack, I have a feeling. Yep. I'm going to be having me some chowder. We ate here at Tony's Crab Shack. It was excellent. I had steamed clams and Carol had chipino. So we sat out here and... <laughs> and clams, which you see on the table there. 
And there's Carol. I assume videotaping. Now that we're walking down here, I can get a closer view of this fish. You can see by the tongue, the flip flops. I guess it's a uh, trying to highlight the trash in the ocean. All made out of plastic junk. Pretty cool though. Let's get back a little here. Now we're walking up to this farm and sea. Farmer's market. There you go. Got a cold deli section over here. Now, oh. black tomatoes. Is that what they are? Yeah. Heirloom tomatoes and they're black. I don't know. We have scallops. Very, these all look frozen to me. Look like they're still frozen. Now look at that king crab leg. Claws, huge. They have Dungeness crab over here. I never buy a dead crab. If it ain't alive, I don't buy it. Guess I don't need my sunglasses in here. If there's any marijuana plants for sale. Bunch of fragrances. You too can join the American Legion. There he is. Thingamajiggers, I guess stoppers for bottles here. It's a pretty nice little bracelet there. Bunch of rocks like the ones we found on the beach. Cranberry ketchup? <laughs> Don't think I've ever tried cranberry ketchup. It's pretty good. Pretty sweet? Um, it's, it's like a full bodied ketchup. Okay. And then on the back end, there's a fruity tang to it. That looks pretty good. Cranberry, blackberry, chipotle. Oh, yeah. And cranberry, orange vinegar. So there's the lighthouse off in the distance. Might get a chance to go out there. We're in no hurry. We've got all day. We are only a few miles from our campground. Coho Silver. Know your fish before you fish. Look at the size of that thing. Go stand by it, Carol. It's bigger than my head. And that's saying something. And then we got a Chinook King Salmon over here. It's the... Oh, it's the same guy. Well, this is some of his more tame sculptures compared to some of that stuff we saw up at the other location. It's pretty cool. It looks like a or something. Jellyfish on the screen here. I don't know how well you can see it. There's Carol trying to dance. Now Carol's got the idea, she's down low to get the picture. <laughs> Looks like a drunk whale, killer whale, doesn't it? Some for children, I guess. And we have a sculpture. Sure looks like it could be our friend, uh, CF. No, nope. <laughs> Anybody but food. We're gonna get in the car and head off. Is that no? We're not. We're going over there to the fudge place and getting ice cream. Oh, uh, we're getting ice cream over there at the fudge place. All right, we'll see you uh, sometime. Well, here we are in camp, <laughs> drying half of the insides of the truck. All of our rugs and towels, and even Carol's got a pillow out. Just beating the sand out of a rug. And there's my umbrella. So, and Trigger's finally drinking. I think he's feeling better. This, is, this isn't too bad. I mean, obviously there's a, another camper right there, but we have a little alcove here. It's not too shabby. 
So you can see all the stuff drying and neighbor dogs. No barking. So we haven't put the camper up. We're going to drive down to the beach rather than walking. Beautiful trees here. Big old bumblebee. Don't you bite that bumblebee. Oh, man, that's a big bee. That's a big bumblebee. Leave it. There's a big bumblebee. You leave right? that big old bumblebee, man. There. Your lip would swell up the size of your head. Look at that guy. That was a big guy. All right, well, we'll probably see you down at the beach a little bit later. All right, so here we are at the Coquille Lighthouse. And I'll walk up to that. Doesn't look like it's operational. I don't see any light up in the tower at all. All right, well, here's the sign for the, and I gotta watch triggers running all over the place, but yeah, you can stop this and read it. 1896. All the driftwood up here makes you wonder how far the water comes up. There's lighthouse closed for the season, so apparently. We have a window to look in and the door, but it's solid. Well, 1896, isn't that amazing? All the fancy detail there on the windows. It's pretty cool. Walk around the light area. But yeah, this is the Coquille River going into the ocean right here. Go right here, I'll go ahead and walk here and out to the beach side of my gosh, look at this. All the stuff that washes down from the logging operations. Trigger's so excited to get to the beach. He's been trying to cut across every place he can here to get to the beach, look at him. So he can start barking. I was noticing this piece of driftwood looks really cool over here. Gnarly, I guess that would be the root system. Trigger is waiting to get to the beach, but he's got a surprise. Carol's not going to let him off the leash. So he's hit the beach, he starts barking. Look at this massive pieces of wood here. Cool how the water and sand work around these things. So another small little teepee-like structure. Kind of cool inside. Look at all this wood. Now this is a cool piece. Look at the end of this one. Almost doesn't look like a dog's face or something. I always like swirls like this. This one's kind of like a shark. Look, has that almost like an eye and a mouth. Looks a little bit like a face there on the top of it. Look at the jumble of driftwood here. So I saw this form, I thought it was pretty cool. It almost looks like my hand. Two fingers. <laughs> There's some interesting bits of golden sand. 